Games podcast. The only podcast where we talk about, I don't know, bullshit. Bullshit in general. We are part, we are part of the problem. Yes. Joining me this week is Josh. We have no Ben this week. He he jumped off a bridge. Josh somehow managed to escape podcast jail sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Turns out um, they were very distracted because they had to constantly... Uh, you know, shill for Raid Shadow Legends all the time, so... Josh, do you want to tell them how you got out of the crystals? I vibrated as fast as I could and shattered the crystals. If I recall correctly, the reason you got let out was because you were too annoying. <laughs> I guess they just didn't like me talking about Magic Gathering. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> weird. You were like, you were like, oh man, does this mean I'm not going to get the Magic get? I got a report from the crystals guys and they were like yo man we're, we got to release them and i'm like why why he 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 he's supposed to be in jail podcast jail he's never supposed to come back this was supposed to be the jeff rock show exactly and yeah and then it became the uh what what did it become it became the black mind games podcast because josh was too annoying for the crystal guys <laughs> Yep, exactly. Mm-hmm. Couldn't handle it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, we had some funny things to talk about. Josh played video games. I played video games. Metroid Dread's pretty good. Of course it is. Yeah, that's actually one of those titles. Like I kind of forgot about it came out. And I I want to purchase it. Do play it. Yeah, it's um. So I haven't. So I was like basically like at the end of the game. Yeah. I didn't realize I was at the end of the game, but I was at the end of the game. Huh. So I did like three things. and I'm like, okay. I basically beat the game. And the point of the game is like to be like, you basically are supposed to like 100% it and do everything. And coming back from it like so many months later, it was like, oh. Oh. This game is great and has great movement and great abilities and the sandbox is amazing and it's oh this is what I'm missing in modern video games. Oh. Oh. It, oh, this is what a video game is supposed to be. Oh, it's supposed to be fun. Oh. Shoot. I'm realizing like halfway through I was like, huh. They, they just literally made a video game as video game. And it's great. Oh. And, like, the Emi bosses, like, so I, I, of course, like, because, because it's a Metroid game. Metroid Dread has Emi bosses. That was the big gimmick was, like, you can parry shit. And then there's these zones, which is a survival horror where basically you'll be chased by these robots that will kill you and you can parry them. Um, They're a unique mechanic that basically give you 95% of your uh, abilities and stuff like that. So like there's one that like the first one you meet is incredibly weak. And the last one you meet basically um, gives you the wave laser, I think it was or something like that. And like the, actual like combat engagements of them like they're not the main bosses of the game so that's pretty cool oh um and going back to that game that game came out in like 2020 uh the game came out in i believe it came out in 21 metroid dread Metroid Dread 2021. So that game came out in 2021 and it's like it's still one of the best games on the Switch by far. Just just by far. It's just better. It's just great. Fantastic. Hmm. Love it. Love it. Um and unlike it, it's better than everything game that has come out this year. I think that's probably the best take i can make of it's 
just genuinely better than most of the games that have come up in the past year. Okay. Huh. All right. That sounds pretty good. Mm hmm. Uh, I guess the only I think the only question I have is uh, any new abilities for Samus or is it just running away from monster? There are a couple new abilities. OK. Um, because it's a modern day video game, you can actually like uh, you you can actually like uh, have like the advanced movement system. Oh, so you can mantle and shit, um, which I don't think have been in any of the Metro games until this one. OK, which is nice. You also have the ability to phase shift so you can teleport forward a bit and teleport back. You teleport up, you can teleport to the side. Um, you have the ability to go invisible. You have the ability in order to pulse and see what things are around you. Cool. So. There's a bunch of like little features here and like new abilities here and there, but like it's like at the end of the day, it's still like a Metroid game. Like you're still going to get the screw attack, right? You're still going to get the um, the power, the charge beam, right? You're you're going to get some stuff. Um, one of the best ones is like the actual. How do I put this? One of the best ones I think is the actual like. Um, storm laser, so they or the storm missile launcher, which is basically you can hold down missiles and it will eventually charge up to allow you to target multiple objects and allow you to clear areas. So that's pretty cool. Mm. So the game, the game again, um, it doesn't. It's not like it has that standard suite of Metroid abilities, and then it has like some new ones that kind of make the game a little bit better. But then again, like I'm not a big I haven't I'm somebody who hasn't really played a whole lot of Metro games, so I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe 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 I need to play more of this. Okay. Mm, well, it sounds pretty good. Mm-hmm. You should play. It's the best one of the best games on Switch. The only thing that sucks though is that I'm looking up like, oh, what's a what's a game price now and it, <laughs> look it up and it's always yeah. always sixty dollars you're like for fuck's sake i was like i was like oh this would be a good gift for my nephew <laughs> yep and i was like oh this would be a good game for my nephew let's try it and so i was like okay looked it up and it was like oh it's seventy dollars oh fuck so i was like just whatever who cares <laughs> could you please not have it at that price nintendo what well huh is there a fly in my ear mm -hmm. nintendo please don't nintendo stop stop um well yeah uh other than dread uh do you want to go down mountain, go down a mountain size of Ev Everest doing tricks that are absolutely impossible while grinding on rails that are also doing tricks that are impossible? Josh, you're concerning me with your baseness. Well, it sounds like you're I have an <laughs> illness called tricky madness. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so tricky madness is a spiritual successor game. Uh, oh god of that of, oh god of ssx uh, uh -huh. actually ssx tricky the more precise i kind of i kind of wish that tricky madness incorporated the remake on the ps3 for uh the ssx series because uh mm -hmm. that one i think it was what year did that come out 2006 Some, something later in the series that one I actually felt the controls were super, super down and actually better for the most part. And like, didn't feel like you kind of had a spaghetti, your fingers on the, on the controller and move them all around all over the place, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, as for tricky madness, I played on steam 
It's only like 10 bucks, which is pretty cheap, uh, but it's also super early. And this game is like it, it's all like it's like 40 percent there. It has the looks. It has the soundtrack you kind of familiar with. It has like only like a couple tracks, but it's like it. He knows what he's looking for in tracks. And second, he uh, has like two other characters he could pick from. And they both kind of look like, OK, yeah, he knows like it's over the top and could be weird. Um, so the characters right now are cool hip hop chick and cool chick. <laughs> like so far, they're both females you could pick from. Um, and the, the two tracks you go down, uh, they're both, I don't know, or outdoorsy, I would say, in different ways you can go around the maps and what, whatnot. Uh, the uh, and the gameplay style is also super close to uh, SSX Tricky as well, as in uh, you go down the slope, you knock over foes, you get speed boost from that, uh, you can do tricks you get more speed boost off of that uh the uh the when you hit the jump button and you hold the, the directions down on the d-pad you wind up for getting spins off a jump and then you can do a big jump and get a ton of spins in and whatever uh the the, the grabs are all on the shoulder buttons so you can mix match combinations of shoulder grabs and whatnot to do different tricks uh what else? And also, same as the tricky game, uh, they have Uber tricks. So you're doing kick flips off a board. You're doing. He also added a bunch of new tricks to the Uber system, which is pretty nice. Uh, you're doing stuff that you're like, oh, that's that's a new trick. I didn't. I'm not familiar with that one. Um, you can also do the uh, classic moves like the guillotine uh, and the propeller, which mm -hmm. are two of the cooler looking moves <laughs> that don't make sense, but they look hilarious. Mm -hmm. Um, and the I, I say that the game's like forty percent there because, yeah, it looks great, sounds great, plays pretty close. The only thing that sucks is that the uh, gameplay is like I don't know why the designer decided to do this, but he mo separated the you carving in the snow, like you moving around in the snow button, to the, a separate button. Or I say a separate joystick and then you doing tricks and spins is another area on the D-pad. And it's like, it's kind of weird why he decided to do that. And I don't quite understand why. Because he didn't want to get sued, Josh. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, I think he didn't want to get sued. But here's the funny thing. And the options, you can turn that back on. So you can have your tricks and and move the character as the same option on the joystick. So it's like, that's even weirder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's still adjusting it and still figure that out later if he's going to get sued or not or something. But uh, oh shit, <laughs> mm, yes, yeah. Like I had to. I definitely had to fiddle with some options in the uh, options in the option menu of like, no, it's, it's almost there. It's not quite what I f remember feeling it like. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, definitely, and also some to get used to of like how to like get back to grinding on the rails and stuff like that in the game. Because uh, I remember that the rails were kind of finicky and they're almost the same way. So I'm like, OK, I can't remember. I got to remember how this works. Oh, shit. Stellar Blade's coming to PC in 2025. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, what else? Oh, uh, also, I can't quite figure out how to do spins on rails yet. I got to I got to go back to the game and figure that out. But like, yeah, Tricky Madness, it's super bloody early, but it's it's all it's he, the, the developer knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, feeling pretty good. I like it. <laughs> it's I'm just going to play it all, like here and there every so often and be like, oh, there's an update. Oh, let me check it out. Oh, you added an option. Cool. Mm. <laughs> He he made it he made it so that he can get sued by EA. That's good. <laughs> oh, what did he add? Oh, he added a character that is definitely not Simon, but Simon. Cool. You know what sucks about EA? The fact that they were like the fact that they've been sitting on this property for so long. There's so many properties that have been sitting on they refuse to do anything. And they have with. done literally nothing with it because they're like, we can't. 
like there's ugh, fuck like if i pretty like here's the funny thing is is like the only reason why the series died the way it did because the head designer didn't understand what the fuck he was designing for like at all Mm -hmm. like he thought he was like oh this game sucks because you're doing all this crazy shit like a cartoon and it's like that's the idea you dumbass like you know it could have been worse uh, it could have been worse it could have been it could have been dragnade felgar's lead writer writing the story of ssx (laughs) i guess uh, yeah what probably would have been worse like if it wasn't for the huge backlash back in the day for that remake if (laughs) they go back to the way it was before well, they just don't understand that, like, they just really don't understand how to make a video game. I that company. I yeah, like, I feel like someone has their head shoved so firmly up their ass that they're just like, no, it's the, it's the game they want this, it's and fine. then people, Straight. and then people yell at them from everywhere, and they go, okay, I guess we go back to the way it was. Okay, we're not. I guess we don't make games anymore. More. I guess we'll okay. I guess we'll make this and cancel it. Like for fuck. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna cancel this game now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like for fuck's sake, we're yelling because your thought is one way, but it's really another. Like come on, stop being a retard. Yeah. So, Give us game we want. So literally, tr- so literally, tricky madness is the thing I want. So <laughs> it's gonna. This is this is literally all I want. Is I just want I want. <laughs> This is the thing that modern video game designers don't want. I want to be crazy. I want things to be not make sense. I don't care that you have to break four laws of physics in order for me in order to watch this game have fun. Ex- I don't care. Exactly. I don't give a shit that the girl's breasts have their own mind and they're going at like mock fucking 11. <laughs> I don't care. That's if, fucking hilarious. I don't care if I'm going down a mountain size of Everest on a track that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit that DJ Atomica is telling me is sitting there constantly reflecting on like my personal growth and greatness as a player. Yep. And how I'm snowboarding during an avalanche. I don't care. Uh, for a, I think it's hilarious. I think it's cool. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like tricky. <laughs> that's the that's the one thing is is such a piss off with like also in the back of my brain's a piss off like yeah tricky madness <laughs> i'm like oh man it's like ssx so cool and i'm like what happened to that series and i just go oh yeah the des- head designer was an idiot like god damn it mm-hmm. <sighs> whatever well there's a sil- what is- silver lining i'm watching Somebody play Nike on YouTube right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. This game is literal porn, right? Nike? Nike. Which game is that? It's the one it's the it's the mobile game for the Stellar Blade people. Is that the one you're taking shots behind a cover? Yeah. I didn't even understand that. Well, how's it spelled? Because uh, N I K K E. Oh, I think Wooly talked about it. I think he did, and yeah, I, he said he played it for such a long time that he he's like, "There's always new mechanics. There's always yeah. new mechanics on top of mechanics. So it's like you never find that bottom of the well. Of okay, I guess I can stop playing. There's no new mechanics. Nope. There's another new mechanic, and you're like, "For fuck, what? How? There's a new mechanic. Always the new mechanics." Yeah. yeah i mean um, i mean with the the gameplay mechanic is that you're just shooting out of cover every so often you can probably layer as much as you want <laughs> layer as much dumb mechanics as you want clearly um i guess it's time for us to talk move on and talk about how the game industry and media are in free, free fall actively destroying themselves um Yeah, um, so this kind of started um, Monday. Um, somebody basically was like on Kind of Fundy, basically going off about how people want – how certain people want trans people and uh, LGBTQA plus people and their video games. And basically everything kind of went sideways immediately 
because basically what ended up happening was the whole suite of the game video gamers just went no shut up no back no go no go down no no nobody's telling you anything we just want you in your hole now go in your hole okay we don't give a shit about you and that was basically the entirety of the initializing of this conflict it has gone so far so worse um basically the thing that spawned this was uh how do I put it? The entirety of Dragon Age Valgard? Ah. Um, it has gone so bad that IGN has reverted their review of IGN v- uh, Dragon Age Valgard. <laughs> okay. It is. Um, you have game journalists like Greg Miller. He's like, this is the greatest game ever I've ever played in my entire life. Life, it might be my game of the year. And it's like, Greg... I don't want to call you a pants on head moron, but you're kind of being a pants on head moron. <laughs> I'm sorry, but are Buddy, you, do you work at said company or did they pay you are, under the table? Uh, like, like what's going on here, Greg? Okay. I worked on that game and I don't think it's a game of the year. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If, if anybody's supposed to be biased, it's me. Okay. And I, I'm like, no, no way. <laughs> no. No, just no. Um, you have constantly. It it is it, just progressed to the point now where you like you have people actively being like, "Hey, this game industry might be a little fucked. There's something weird going on here. It's kind of fucked up." And as this is happening, basically the entirety of media is like, "No, hold on, hold on, everything's fine." And then on the outside. Of the game industry, we have political bullshit going on. So because of the Trump presidency, people are kind of realizing, hey, a bunch of left-wing pundits are lying pieces of shit. Mm. Who knew? Which is causing now Twitch to have the adpocalypse happen. Uh. It is so fucked up and completely messed up that, like, basically the entirety of the game industry is basically collapsing. Um... And there's always Industries indie. Be- yeah. The industry is basically in free fall. Yep. Um, independent media is basically just destroying themselves. And Dragon Age Velgard is supposed to be a video game that is actually really well um, liked. It's actually doing better than most of the <laughs> most of the video games that have been coming out this year. Mm. Like um we had Suicide Squad. We had the entirety of the Ubisoft saga. We had all these video games come out that were trash and completely horrible and terrible in every single step of the world. And uh, I got to talk to you about how we're going to do our year-end predictions and stuff like that this year. Oh, I see. All of these games have been terrible. And basically what ended up happening is... How do I put it? Basically, what ended up happening is the game industry basically faltered and died. <laughs> uh, and now we have indie games. The rise of indie de- titles. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, I don't know about you, but like, I found it really difficult to find new indie games that are actually interesting to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> and watching people actively like destroy the industry is hilarious and funny. And watching these groups of people be like, I don't understand why everything is failing all of a sudden. It's like. It's simply simply because they're putting too much money in something that no one cares about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like you're you're burning something to the ground and then you're telling me that it's okay and great. And then I look at it for five seconds and I go, wow, that character is literally a dumb idiot. Why did she do that? And or or you're taking the hero archetype and you're throwing it out out and you're going, we're going to make a character who is perfect in every single way. And then she's the most despicable, evil person I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm going, hold on here. What's going on here? What's what's happening? So. Well, yeah. Well, 
triple a industry will uh Mm -hmm. i don't know that it'll just implode and then they'll just start you know going on what's probably good what's probably going to happen is and this is just me saying this is like what's probably going to happen right now is that you're probably going to see the game industry like you're you're right when you say the game industry is going to implode and then have to rebuild itself what's probably going to happen is you're probably going to see the destruction of ubisoft yeah and you're probably going to see the entirety of the game industry kind of like you're probably going to see a reset where it's like eventually like because you have people like me who are like i want to work in the game industry i've applied to work in the game industry please pull your head out of the ass Mm -hmm. i want to work for you and you're you're starting to see the beginning movements of that because you have people like me who are like hey I already make video games. I already am like playing with technology. I'm already like learning things and trying to do things and trying to get better. And then you have people like you who are trying to do the same thing and you, you have a passion for video games, right? Yeah. And it's like, it's like, yeah, like I have experience. Josh is a decent artist. We could, we're making our own video games. We could do something. All we need, we can definitely work on your projects and we're pretty creative very so, creative yeah that that basically was my yeah like you're going to see the entire thing blow up that makes sense mm-hmm. a- anyways and the triple a space at the very least the indie game space is going to be like what happened over there i don't know well well like that's the thing right is like is like it's already kind of like that case where they're like hey what's going on yeah what's actively happening here Um. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And to add to a little bit to the Twitch, uh, Twitch uh, ad apocalypse shit. Um, it it was caused by anti-Semitism. Oh no! The worst. Yeah. Um. Shall we move on to another topic? Sure. Um, Jeff Keighley tried to basically patent or trademark the word game awards. <laughs> Every time. He tried to fucking patent and trademark the word game awards. Oh, freaking hell. That's like the same thing as react. Like, yeah. It's like motion interactive game, motion interactive awards. Yeah, like like Frank. Yeah, there's also another controversy where they're like, "We're going to allow uh, DLCs to run for Game of the Year," and it's like, "Yeah, that's always been the case." Mm-hmm. That's that's always been the case. Last year, Phantom Liberty was, I believe, a nominee in Game of the Year contention, along with Alan Wake, and the people were like, "Alan Wake and Spider Man Two should win Game of the Year." Were firmly punched in the face and told to shut the fuck up. Firmly told to shut the fuck up. Firmly. Firmly. Not measured, firmly told to shut the fuck up. Um, yeah, but basically, uh, Jeff Keighley tried to... He tried to buy and purchase the trademark Game Awards. And it didn't go well. I mean, I've also heard from the original fiasco of the React trademarking. Uh, it was more or less like, yeah, companies go through the motions of what they can trademark. And if the company is literally just a single word, they'll try to see if they can get the single word. But at the same time, it's like, hey, mm. it's also like, right. I get it. You want to go through the hoops and make it legit. But at the same time, it's like, this is not going to go well. Mm-hmm. right well it's just like it's just so obvious that like the issue is is like they're just like well we we we, we can we can do this and nobody's going to stop us and then actually what ends up happening is uh as this happens everyone just goes huh 
maybe that wasn't a good idea. Maybe that maybe allowing that to happen was a bad idea. Maybe maybe trademarking the game awards was a bad idea, and then you have people being like, "Yeah, it was. It was a horrible idea. Why would you do that? Yeah. Why would you try that? That's stupid." Just back hands constantly. Or at least maybe name your game awards something slightly different than just game awards. Yeah. Like, I don't know, that you could you call it the Keeley Game Awards at this point. Well, that's kind of what it is, right? It's yeah. the Keeleys. It, and like I'm sorry, but Veilgard's probably gonna do okay. Oh no, Veilgard won by a landslide. Oh, oh. And then every gamer in the world is going to go like, "Why wasn't it Hell Divers?" <laughs> and then why wasn't it Bellatro? Uh, yeah, why? Uh, now Bellatro will win best soundtrack for the only track that it has. Yeah, or why wasn't it Space Marine Two? <laughs> Freaking hell! You need to play that game. It's really good. I guess I should. I don't know. It has <sighs> a decent multiplayer too. It's fun. It's a good game. Uh, I see. I don't know. Do you have anything else? Uh, Do you have anything you want to talk about? Uh, 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 oh, you know what? There's another old video game I played. Uh, oh, yeah? Although I think I, I may have talked about it. I don't. Uh, Victory Heat Rally. Did I ever talk about that? I think you did. Okay. Because I was like, man, I have this installed and it looks like I played it. I'm like, did I ever talk about it? I don't know. Uh, well, I have zero other games to talk about then if I already talked about it. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, my week was more or less uh, Vampire Survivors and uh, just being busy. I mean, I basically was like, hey, I was like, hey, I just want to play a good video game and then i was like hey i'm gonna play so i started playing breath of, or not breath of the wild he's uh whatever the new zelda game is the dlc that should have uh not breath of the wild uh legend of zelda tears of the kingdom yeah i think it is yeah okay tears of the kingdom yeah so i, I started playing tears of the kingdom and i was like okay i'll play tears of the kingdom <laughs> And I'm playing it, and I'm just like, this is a... I I just don't... I don't really feel like I want to play this. And then I just ended up was like playing um, the new... Or playing Metroid Dread again, and I was just like, oh, this is what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. This is everything I wanted. Why did I stop playing this? And then I'm going, huh. Oh, well, moving on. Uh, well, I guess the next week will probably be a little bit more of a longer episode. Shall we end the show? Ah, uh, may as well. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for listening to Black Man Games Podcast. Sorry for the short episode. and Sorry for not posting anything last week. Josh was in prison, and I was at uh, the Patriarchy Conference. Doing patriarchy things. Yep. Yeah, Josh, you should have gone. I'd be I, great. I, I should have, but I went to jail. Yeah. So it was hard. <laughs> yeah. Basically, jo- the truth is, is that we basically determined that the next evil steps of evil plans for world domination for the patriarchy is that we're going to allow women to have a choice on their abortions. Oh my God. That that was that was our that was the determination. We we got asked that question. We were like, we don't fucking care. What the fuck? <laughs> yep. Who the fuck here? Who the fuck? But let them put in restrictions. They can't. That's it. Okay. That's all we're asking for. Restrictions. Okay. I mean, it's we, still technically a, like a woman's body, bo- woman's choice. But yeah. all right. Yeah. There's a couple of little restrictions there, okay? Just y- when you as women can agree that this is the restrictions that you want, we'll implement it, okay? That's all we're saying. Um, 
the other thing that we also were doing was we were like, huh, uh, we were talking about other bullshit. But uh, that that's that's all for next week. Uh, we've determined that Microsoft must lay off more employees and buy more studios. Must buy more studios and lay off absolutely all the employees. Yep. It's software's next on the list. <laughs> That would be so bad if they actually got laid off. Holy fuck. Um, anyways, thank you everyone for listening to the Black Man Games podcast. Uh, you can listen to us every Thursday on blackmangames.poppy.com. Subscribe to us on our favorite podcast and you have a choice. Thank you and have a good night. Bye. This slope is my revival. The speed is so tribal. To shred the ice and make it nice. Chicken and this the title. Here we go. It's trip to ride the edge. To ride the edge, that's all the crime. It's tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. It's tricky to catch the air. To pull the flare and own the grind. It's tricky. Trick, 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 trick. I met this border dude. His moves were super crude. He hit the rails, then wiped the bail. I said, adjust your attitude. The snow is feeling icy. The crowd is getting dicey. But I won't stress, I'll land the press and keep my tricks precisely. It's tricky to ride the edge. To ride the edge, that's all the rhyme. It's tricky. How is it? It's tricky, 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 tricky. It's tricky to catch the air. To pull the flare and own the grind. It's tricky. Trick, 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 tricky. From Metro City to Garibaldi, we're carving out the line. The tricks are big, the crowd is loud, the race is on the time. On peak three, it's wild sea, no shortcuts left to try. Every spin I'm locked within, they'll never take my high. The boost is charging, flips enlarging, spinning through the sky. Grabs are styling, points compiling, aiming for the prize. Foes are closing, tensions growing, but I'll never stop. Tricky madness, this is my canvas, I'm climbing to the top It's tricky to ride the edge To ride the edge, that's all the rhyme It's tricky How is it? Tricky, 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 tricky It's tricky to catch the air To pull the flare and own the grind It's tricky Trick, 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 tricky, tricky, tricky The lights flash bright, the course ignites Adrenaline's my game No falling back, I'm on attack They'll all remember my name Every twist and turn, the ice will burn I'll leave them in the dust With Tricky's flow, I steal the show This mountain is my rush We don't just race, we own the space It's how we pave our way The snow, the sky, the tricks we fly This is the tricky way It's like that, y'all, y'all The rush won't quit We keep on carving runs Cause this is it are starting to realize that like maybe listening to people online who fucking lie to you and tell you that the problem with the world and society is everything that makes society actually run 
um, wasn't a smart idea. Mm. So it, it just it, it keeps every single time. It just goes the way that it expects. And that's partially the reason why, like, all of this, um, all of the bullshit with, like, Blue Sky is, like, hilarious. So, yeah. Mm. Anyways. Mm. Um, I actually played a video game this week. That's... I did, too. I didn't do any work on the games. Yeah... I now I have to actually um crack open Blender again mm-hmm. and figure that out. Um although funny enough uh with me um figuring out the more I keep figuring out Blender, the more I'm like, it's not that bad, it's just weird. And remembering just- what different name of terms are. Mm-hmm. But, it's uh, not bad. It's just yeah. different. It's just weird. <laughs> or I guess any program will name anything else, whatever it feels like. Technically, just although it feels like when it comes to basic terms or what you call something, they kind of they kind of follow that to some degree. Mm-hmm. So if you're trying to do a boolean, they usually have a boolean somewhere. You just gotta find it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so my my adventure continues with that. Uh, oh, and also I played Tricky Madness this week. And could you guess what the Tricky Madness is a spiritual successor to? SSX? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh. Because, uh, yeah, like, I've been following this guy on twitter for the longest time because he started literally what i just said was like why doesn't someone just make this game again because for fuck's sake it's cool as shit and this guy's sgo rucka 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 tricky it's tricky uh so literally he did this guy just start doing that of making ssx tricky again and uh he still has a lot of growing to do in the game because Mm -hmm. there's still a lot of um, control issues, I would say, with it. But, it, I mean, for the most part, I think everything's there. If looks and feels like it's a sex tricky. So, so what I'm hearing is that I'm probably going to buy you Baldur's Gate and you're going to buy me this game. <laughs> probably. Or I'm going to buy it for myself. I mean, it's like 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. I bought. I actually just bought it now simply because I know I'm going to be playing this eventually again. I just wait until this game just hits like that 1.0. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now it's still plenty early because it only has two tracks and two different characters, and there it just it does feel like oh yes, it it feels like stuff is here. He's still working on it. it feels like they're actually making progress, and this is the game that I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, although one thing is funny is that. Uh, the game controls for oh well, again it's early but the controls for this game is just a little weird because uh for original ssx you could control with the d-pad and whatever you hit the jump button you kind of lock you get locked into a jump and then you can mm-hmm. wind up for spins and stuff uh mm-hmm. so with uh tricky madness it still has that but for whatever reason, the movement controls and the spins are separated to different joysticks, and I don't understand why. In fact, there's an option in the menu, you can switch it back to the way it was. And I'm like, that's even weirder. So I'm kind of wondering Wait. if it's just like he felt it was better separated, or I don't know, maybe it's just in his brain he thought that was better, or something, or he just, <laughs> or my tinfoil hat theory i uh, worried about getting sued so he made it separated and the make that default just so he can point out and go no no i didn't Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. yeah Mm-mm. it's different see apparently jeremy clarkson's returning to top here really it's like the same producer's not there anymore <laughs> oh that's funny or, or more likely is... He chilled out? 
Jeremy Clarkson, uh, Top Gear Speculation, 12 days ago. Oh, he's back. He's alive. After a major hell heart, he had just had, uh, he just had a heart surgery, so he's alive. Okay. Oh. He's not coming back. I see. Okay. Fake news. So not back as in the TV show. Back mm -hmm. as in uh, he's uh, not dead. Yeah. I see. It's, it's going to be. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Apparently, um, apparently James May and him are arguing, but. uh. I'm like, yeah. what producer is he going to have an argument with so he can punch? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say this. Yeah. Huh? Um, none. <laughs> none, okay. of, none at all. Mm -hmm. Um. Shall we sink? Uh, uh, fine, we'll sink. Oh, also, I tested a Hyundai Ionic N oh, this week. Cool. Why did you not buy that? I don't know. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. It's, the gr it's great. It's amazing. It's fantastic. You bought it. I don't Didn't know. Let me drive it. It would have been great. Also, I think that everybody should test um, Teslas. They're kind of cool. And sink in. So shall we sink? Yes. Sink in. Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you.